It's a star-studded event that includes Alabama commit Tua Tagovailoa, a Hawaiian native and product of the same high school as Marcus Mariota. I was kind of nervous. How could somebody from Hawaii compete with the outer states? It's Hawaii versus the mainland. This year's class is brimming with talent. Right here. But there's one that stands above the rest. Go. Go. He is the hands-down favorite to win the Elite 11 go. MVP. Cartersville, Georgia is a quaint southern town with a population of only 20,000. But it is also home to the consensus number one high school quarterback in the nation. Six foot six inch Trevor Lawrence led his Hurricanes to Georgia State titles in each of the last two seasons and has committed to the national champion, Clemson Tigers. That's a dime right there, Tua. The thing with Tua was, was he going to be able to be disciplined enough to learn the pocket stuff, the drops, be on time, understand how to read a playbook and actually work through the different reads that he's going to have to do. And Trent challenged him with that in Oakland. Set, go. Let's go, Trevor. Now you want to see how does he handle that? Being pushed to the front of the pack, what does he do? Oh my God, let's go, Trevor. Oh, oh! It's good to stack up against those other guys and get put on the spot, and uh, so I thought that was a lot of fun. Let's roll, baby! Nice ball, nice ball! Okay, here we go, here we go. Good, really good. Move it up. Tua Tagovailoa continues his maturation as a passer. How about that throw right there? The knock on Tua was that he threw all fastballs early on, and you see him layering the ball as well as anybody, changing tempos on the ball, anticipating. He is a gifted passer. Yes! Everyone's doing their job. Everyone's executing, so it's making my job that much easier. Tua, great eyes, bud. Tua advances to the championship game. Hey, love y'all, boys. It was good, man. It was good. Lawrence can still win MVP, but he'll need a big day in order to make a run. He's so talented, and this is part of the learning process for him. There's a time when talent just taps out, and you have to play with the discipline it takes when you're playing against the great players he's playing against. I feel good, though. I'm going to ball out. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence's half for Savage Pro. Blue Ace, I was kind of honestly kind of mad about that other game, so I wanted to play a lot better and, and, and show people that I can play a lot better than I did. Lawrence looking down the sideline and delivers a dive. Lawrence's first drive is surgical as he rips one completion after the next. Blue Ace, I go. Lawrence, three for three on this drive. Oh, How about four for four? Oh, touchdown, boy. Savage Pro. Hey, Good eyes by Trevor Lawrence to find his guy and put it where just he could catch it. I'm back, I'm back. But Trevor Lawrence isn't done yet. Lawrence just dealing in his half. And another yeah. one for number one. Good job. Baby. Lawrence's big second half performance leads his team to the win and jumps him right back into the MVP conversation. He wasn't thinking anymore. He was just kind of reacting. He'd see it and let it go. It was just great to see. I had a way better game than I did earlier. I kind of got positive that adversity. Bro, this energy, this is what we need every game. We've made it so close that we're going to determine the MVP of Elite 11 by this game. Yes, sir. All right? So yes, good sir. Luck. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you. Fall out. Hey, man. Go get it. Love you, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love you, bro. Go have fun. It's amazing how the football gods uh, have given us this situation. We have the two guys that came in, one or two, competing for the championship and the MVP. Pretty interesting. Green 80. Here we go. Here we go. Green 80, say As the game began, Tua jumps yeah, out to an yeah. early lead, marching his team to the game's first yeah, yeah, yeah. score. Green 80. Green 80, say hook. And then it all clicks in for Tua. He dominates. With three more first half touchdowns, the game is never again in doubt. The ball looks like Aaron Rodgers' ball in the air. Uh, it spins more, it has more energy to it. And then he kind of reminds you of some Russell Wilson. He's not the tallest guy, but he's super athletic and efficient athletically. Uh, it's really a unique thing that, that Tua has. An athletic quarterback challenged to improve his abilities in the pocket is a true reflection of the Elite 11 experience. Oh, big boy throw. 
elite coaching with a history of preparing the best of the best for that next step and a willing pupil ready to absorb and work. Good job, man. Appreciate it, Coach. Super proud of you. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. In order to win the Elite 11 MVP, Lawrence will have to prove why he was the consensus number one quarterback coming into the Elite 11 process. And for Justin Fields, out of Kennesaw, Georgia, an impressive win will all but seal it. It seems a two-man race. It's between you two. When it comes to MVP, you guys both made it very clear you guys wanted to win it. You've separated yourself. It's not just how you play. It's how you handle the up and downs. It's how you handle your team. That's how you handle the bigness of this. Good luck. All right, have a great one. Good luck, brother. Hey, let's go. Same thing on one on one. Ready? Let's I'm go. A, I'm gonna take the safety way. But down 14 to nothing, Trevor Lawrence is not done. There we go. And his talent shows. Lawrence and Savage Pro yes. down two scores. He looks to his right, throws yes. to his left. That one's Two. complete. Keeps the chains moving. Lawrence wants a TD. Same thing. There you go. And Come he back. gets it at Ross. Same play. Nice shot. To a stand up. I challenged you about six weeks ago to stand up. And I said, you're a heck of a football player. You're an incredible athlete, but I didn't see the discipline in your game to be a quarterback. I could not have been more wrong. And I'm so happy I was wrong. Of all the kids I've ever coached, I've never seen one improve more rapidly than you. I am so proud of you that you're the 2016 Elite 11 MVP. With time running out, it's all but the end for Trevor Lawrence and his hopes for MVP. Let me qualify this by saying there is no doubt that Trevor Lawrence is going to play football for lots of years. <laughs> he is wildly talented. He has a great makeup. But he got a little undisciplined at times, and he'd be the first to tell you that. And what he's going to learn from this is too much is given, much is expected. And he's been given as much as anybody from a talent standpoint. And as he grows in the position, I have tons of confidence he's going to be an incredible football player. Well, I'm sure. I mean, everyone wanted to win, so I'm sure we're a little upset, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's been a great experience that I won't forget. Uh, I've learned a lot, and it's fun to get to play with these guys.